morning, I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. You just tuned into Monday's Morning Devotion. Amen. We're here to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's open with a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord. Lord, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would just touch, Lord, this morning's devotion. Anoint us to share your word. Anoint the hearts to receive your word. Help us, Lord. Father, to just fellowship together around the truth and the encouragement that we find through reading Psalms today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Many, many blessings. I am hey, so man. glad to have you guys join us this morning. It is a, a wonderful day. Amen. The mosquitoes are out. I got bug spray on. <laughs> and we got a little centrilla candle or whatever it's called down there. So we are we are good to go. And now and I, it is I August 10th, 2021. Morning, morning Lisa. Good morning. Silla, good morning, Don. If you're around. I was just thinking of that song as we were praying. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I, I think will she expected enter me to join his her. gates with praise. <laughs> Amen. I will say this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Serenade in the shade. <laughs> Amen. To the Lord. He has to made the Lord. us glad. Amen. Are you in Psalm 62? Psalms 62. Mind if I start reading Psalm 62? Yep. Okay. Read the first couple. Couple as in two? The first two verses. Okay. First two verses. Truly my soul waiteth upon God. For he, from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Now, there's seven brief statements in Psalm 62. That is part of the first ones. Statements of confidence in God. Truly my soul silently Amen. waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. Yes. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. You know, if you feel anxiety come in, there is so much junk in the news, so much stuff that's happening everywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, in our little circles, in our big circles, around the world globally. When anxiety comes in, we need to attack that anxiety Amen. with praise with Amen. prayer Amen. because they cannot coexist you cannot have anxiety and praise at the same time you can't have anxiety and prayers of confidence to God together they don't when you have the prayers when you have the confidence in God yes. when you have that praise anxiety has to get out I mean when you realize that you're talking about the God of the whole universe the God I mean we look up to the skies and we see the Milky Ways we see I don't know, maybe millions of stars? Billions. Billions. Zillions. And that's nothing compared to what's out there. And our God controls all that. Amen. He cares about you, you. individually. He hears your prayers. His timing is perfect. Yes. Things don't happen in our timing. But if you make a list, if you have like a, a, a journal, a piece of paper, write down prayer requests that you have. But put little check marks by them so that you can check off the ones that he has already answered. All right. How many times have you been, you know, no rent money and somehow you ended up paying rent? Yes. No gas money, but somehow you, ended you up got with gas. gas. You know, thought you had no groceries, but somehow you, you had groceries. groceries. You know, sick, but somehow you made it through that. God has always heard you. It's just Amen. his timing. Amen. You know, if you've given your life to God and you said, Lord, I want you to be Lord of my life, let him be Lord of your life. Surrender every area. Don't think, oh, because this is too little. No, God is, mm -hmm. there is no God request cares. that's too little or too big that God can't handle. Amen. Keeping keeping your confidence in God. I don't think we're going to get through all seven of I these. I don't think so either. But uh, it con your up. confidence that you will not be moved. Amen. It is. It is. It is something that that is consistent. 
um, you, you stand on the rock, the, the solid rock, the foundation, Amen. the foundation, and when you stand on it, you have higher ground, you have solid ground, yes. you are not in the mushy ground or the low ground, you are not up to your knees in muck from this world, instead you're standing on the rock. And we think standing on a rock, but I want you to think in a godly way. I could go out and maybe I could find some lime rock around here and I could go and I could stand on it. But I could also go up to just a little east of Atlanta and go up on top of Stone Mountain and stand on that rock. Mm -hmm. Now, you think about if there was an earthquake I don't think Stone Mountain's going anywhere. <laughs> I think it's one really big rock to stand on. And even with that thought in mind, our God is even bigger. Amen. His rock is even more solid. And his Amen. foundations are way, way, way more strong Amen. than that. So when you stand, you must find your place to stand in the Lord. Amen. Because if you stand on sinking sand and you stand in the muck and mud, your stance is not going to be in a good place. Yes. But you must stand in the Lord. You must stand in God. You stand on His Word because that's what we're here to do. We're here to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith. It's by faith that we are made strong and it's by hearing God's word that our faith is increased. You know, 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7 says, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty Amen. hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Yes. So you have to realize that you're too little to handle this. Yeah. It's only because of God that you can make it Amen. through your situation. You know, it's God's mercy, God's grace upon his creation that has allowed us to keep going. It says in verse seven, casting all your yes. care upon him, for he cares, cares for, for you. you. He cares, he is there. As I don't know that we're gonna be able to continue in that Psalms. Let me, I think we're gonna to have to pick up tomorrow probably yeah, we'll, on we'll, three. We'll Cause we, we covered verse one and two. And, and, and it's not that we, we wanna, we don't wanna rush because God's word should be savored. Yes. God's word is like a fruit tree that has fruit. And you could just go in and pick any old fruit, <laughs> or you could look and examine the tree to determine which fruit looks the, the best. best, which fruit looks like it's absolutely ripe. And sometimes we have to take that tree maybe shake it a little bit, <laughs> maybe look a little closer, and we find that truth. And God's truth speaks through his word and it comes in like a seed in your life. And if you take this book as inspired by God, and it, that it's profitable to teach you and to instruct you Amen. and to keep you and to encourage you then you have a different answer. Today, I still believe that God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. Amen. It, is, it is God's word and I respect it. I don't say that this, this Bible needs to be prayed at. No, this is God's word and mm -hmm. it's the God that it's talking about that we're serving. Amen. It's the God that this word describes that we have our faith in. It's the God of this word that is our rock. Amen. It is our foundation. It is why we don't have to worry about being greatly moved. Amen. Because we serve a greater God than anything else out there. Put your trust and your faith in the Lord Amen. on a daily basis. Wake up in the morning and give a greeting to God before you get out of bed, before your feet hit the ground. Just give a little bit of time to the Lord. Thank you for joining well, us today. I want to end, you know, leave you with this. Uh, I thought about this when I was reading the, the Psalms and it says, I wrote this down, nothing will happen today 
that God and I can't handle, handle together. together. Amen. Nothing will happen today Amen. that with God on your side, you can't handle. So don't let anxiety come in. Instead, nope. let adoration come in. Amen. Let praise come in. Confess that you are not strong enough to handle this by yourself, only through God. Amen. And when the, you let that praise come in, keep it in your heart. So keep a praise song in your heart. heart. And, and rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord always. And, and again, again, I say rejoice. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7.30.